Hi, my name's Quail. Uh, my partner and I have been working on a book, and I was curious if anybody who's published a book has any advice that could help. What we're trying to do um, is create two different versions of the same writing. Um, one will be like a very minimal, um, regular chapter book, no, no pictures in it. Something we could sell for fucking as cheap as we make it. That way it can just reach as many people as possible. Um, the goal with that version is really not profit of any kind. Um, and I also want to create a bigger version that's like a coffee table style book that is something it's so loud that is something similar to um like an i spy book for adventurous queer adults especially those of the vagabond sort of nature um it's a book of poetry and it's gonna have short journal entries I say short and it's it's not always short. It's gonna have scattered journal entries from our travels um, along with short stories that come up as we're writing it. And I have so much photography, um, both film photography and digital that I want to collage. Um, and it's so much that it will end up feeling like an I Spy book. I don't know if I am hallucinating, maybe it wasn't the Spiderwick books. Um, but I swear it was. When I was a kid, there was these really cool interactive Spiderwick Chronicle books that had like envelopes that you could open and um, like take out like little notes from a fairy. Um, I really love the idea of the book being done in a very detailed and like I want it to be high quality if it could potentially be recycled materials too that'd be fucking awesome I found a website that I think I'm gonna go through to do the first Tallulah my dog just almost tore down my partner's my my partner's family's back screen trying to get a squirrel sorry what the fuck? I found a website that I think I'm gonna go through to make the first final draft um, with all the photography in it and stuff. I would feel so much better about it if I was going through like um, a more like it was a more personal experience where I could like work with the people printing it. Um, I kind of just want to be there for the process of the entire thing being made in front of me and really have a say as it's being made. I also don't have any resources right now um, to get this up and going, uh, which is fine because this book is great. Like, people are going to want to read it because I'm crying. Like, I don't know if you see this this is the process the process has been beautiful dude it's been fucking hard too i like ooh. i just know it's been worth my time and energy and even without a dollar in my pocket i have a feeling everything's gonna work out um that's not to say that i won't get a dollar in my pocket to do it either i definitely fully intend on you know paying on getting <laughs> this book done there's no other way about it really even though i wish you know i could just have the resources to do that and gift it to the world um things have just been tight financially going towards the van and towards health stuff but yeah my plan was to go through the website that i had found to my wow my lips don't do the work talking is so hard hearing myself think has been the hardest part of this part. <laughs> this process dude how do you listen to yourself been really good though i want to make um that finalized version of it as best as i can as professional as i can and as an interactive and um as like authentic as i can present it and then take that you know either onto the internet and be like hey this is what i have for you guys if you want me to order some more of these so you can buy it from us let me know but to be honest, I want this book. I fucking listen. This is stupid because I'm sure.
I've always said, like, fuck Barnes & Noble, because, like, I hate that all the little bookstores are gone, but the little, my inner child is like, I want this book to be something that is so well done that when somebody happens across it, they know for a fact in their heart that they happened across a piece of magic that somebody poured their soul into. And I want them to, to not be surprised, you know, if they see it in a fucking bookstore. I don't want it to feel like, you know, like we even did this ourselves at all, you know? I want it to feel like when people come across this book, I want it to be like something familiar, you know? Like they, it's someone's journal that they care about that they haven't seen in a long time. One that says at the beginning, open me up and read me, please, if you find this, this is a gift to you. Life is so, so very heavy. Finding little joys through the grief is the point. It's really a gift to sit with these memories and to just honor them. And, you know, there's some journal entries where I sat and I, I wrote a little bit, but I was so in the moment, I had to just be in that moment. And now that I've grown from that moment, I sit with those those feelings and I meditate so deeply on what it felt like to see, hear, smell, taste, feel my surroundings and it's fucking cathartic to just sit with these different versions of myself and also just to hear and witness magic on a relatively daily basis. Like I feel like I experience magic at least once a day even since I've been housed up here like it's crazy like I'll just take a walk with my banjo and something happens something always happens um and so much happens that it's hard to remember it all so taking the time to write it down and share it with y'all has really been a cathartic experience and I'm I'm just very grateful um so if you have any advice on you know if the way I'm going about doing this getting the rough draft out to you guys like selling it individually Oh, I just want to say too, I mentioned before that the first copy that we're making is not for profit and the second copy, like, it's, it will cost money, um, depending on how much it costs to, like, print these images, on, I want it to be high quality, like, mint, like, I spy book level detail, <laughs> like, I don't know. There's a lot of layers and a lot of these pictures. I don't know. I don't know how. Uh -huh. And yeah, so it's going to cost some money just to get it like the way out the way I'd like it to be. Um, I also just want to mention like, and you'll read about it in the book and stuff, but a lot of our time on the road is spent, you know, helping people where we can and, um, yeah, the profits from that book, like, the more expensive one, if there are any, is going to be going into a s two savings accounts. One, for Sequoia and I's future. Like, we're going to get old, and I already have health issues. It's bad. Um, and two, for the community. Um, wherever we are, everywhere. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're everywhere. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> But yeah, it's just like going out and extending a hand to your immediate community, wherever that may be. And just, you know, we can't do much, but the gifts that we do receive, we share them. And um, that's what the money will be used for from that book. So even though it might be a little bit more expensive, um, I really hope that, you know, it rece it's received by people who really enjoy it um and the more people who have the ability to purchase it um gives us the ability to give copies of the visual aid or the visual aid <laughs> the visual version out to people who can't afford it you know because i'm gonna be doing that i'm gonna be trying to give out as much of this as i can just because i love to do it i feel like it's my purpose so i hope that these gifts can come into fruition and I hope it can be everything I see in my heart and yeah.